everybody welcome back to the Firefly Studio I'm so sorry it's been quite a while since I've been on here to do a create with me um, I've been super busy in my personal life but I wanted to jump on today because I am in the middle of doing a nature botanical wildflower journal and there is a um, journaling card that I want to create and it's inspired by something I saw a long time ago on Pinterest so I just thought I'd go ahead and turn the camera on and let you guys um, come along with me while we create this. So the first thing I've done is I've cut some of the recycled craft cardstock at three and a half by five because that's going to fit nicely into this journal. Um, it's another mini envelope journal and I don't want to go any larger than that. Um, so I'm hoping I can do it. Uh, this size because um, the inspiration behind this was actually a greeting card. Um, this is some gesso. Just gonna put a bit of this to tone that down a little. Um, it was actually a greeting card so um, I'm hoping I can get this down you know to the size that that I'm working with here. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with that. I might have got a little bit heavy handed on that one. <clears throat> okay, so using Stephanie's, um, this is her wildflower botanical page. I want to start with that if I can find my tearing ruler. I've got such a mess here guys so bear with me. You know how it is when you're in the middle of, of creating a journal. It's um, my space is just wrecked at the moment. So I hope everybody is staying well. Like I said, I've been busy doing Christmas journals because I just, I'm never, ever in time for Christmas. And I thought, all right, this year, <laughs> this year I'm going to start as soon as Christmas is over, but I didn't. Um, so I, I feel like I'm already kind of a late getting going with it. But thank goodness it's, um, it's paid off. All I've got to do now are my Christmas cards. So... I think I'm going to do that as um, one of my patron craft along um, videos for some of the Christmas cards I'm going to make this year. Don't have a lot to make because, gosh, sh posting's getting so expensive uh, from here back home, but I'll take them with me. Just stick a stamp on them in the U.S. <laughs> Uh, let me go ahead and put a little bit of ink along these edges. Okay, so that, I'm not going to glue it down yet because I'm still trying, whoops, I still want to play around with the design of this. So this is just some, um, you know the, it's kind of like the kids' construction paper that you can get. Well, this is kind of the same. I think they call it sugar paper or something. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to um, to try to layer some of that in with this. It would have helped for you to visualize if I had done this ahead of time, but you know I don't operate that way. Sometimes I'm prepared and have something so you can see exactly what we're making. And if you're not interested, then you can just obviously shut off. But today, I'm not that um, organized, guys. So 
So yeah, you'll just have to stick with me and, and see if it is something that you, you want to create. Although, having said that, there will be a picture in the description box up there. So, so you'll know. But hopefully it'll be something that you'll enjoy. Like I said, I I just I'd seen this years and years ago, and uh, you know when you're kind of looking for something different to add to your journal, I thought, oh, that would just be so pretty if I can make it work. Okay, so what I've done, this is just some cream cardstock, and I've done a. Um, one of the Tim Holtz uh, wildflower dies, and I've just kept the, the negative part. I'm now just going to distress that so that that stands out a little bit more. I know this is already going to have to be cut down, so I'm not going to worry about going down too far. Okay, so... I think I'm going to put a bit of cheesecloth between these two layers there. Let me grab it. Um, so yeah, I've been keeping myself busy, guys, with a clear out. And I don't know if any of you saw recently, I did a fabric de-stash. Well, I've got one bundle left in the shop if anybody's interested. Um, and um, so that's, you know, in between everything else, I've been just trying to go through things. And clearing out because it's just get I'm getting too many too many things uh, I'm just addicted to fabric and lace I'll just be honest I'm straight up addicted to it so it's um and when I usually find it it's like a big bolt of it so I, that's what I ended up doing was going through and keep them you know enough for myself for one or two journals and then the rest of it just put into the uh, the D stash. Okay, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put a little bit of glue behind that, just to hold that because I think I'm going to want to do a bit of stitching, but I like the placement of that. So what I've done is just glued those pieces together, not to that, because I'm going to add some string before I put it onto this bit. So if that's placed there, I'm going to want that about there, so I'm happy to go ahead and glue that down. And then I think I will run that through the machine once I get this uh, negative glued down. And I'm going to also have very soon a, um, I had no idea how much Christmas fabric I have, so I may be um, I may have a, oh gosh, I've gone too far with that glue. I forgot, I'm going to have to cut that end off, it's too long. 
I may, might have some Christmas fabric in the next couple of weeks if anybody's interested in that. There would only be one bundle of that because I have used quite a lot. All right, so I'm thinking that's going to go there. And if that's okay, so now I want to trim, trim that down. So, yeah, not, um, not much really going on here. Um, We've been going out for walks, but because uh, things still aren't really back to normal, I'm going to put a little bit of gesso here, guys. Um, <clears throat> we've just been taking like picnics and going out for walks and things like that. That's about it. I don't know. It doesn't seem as though anybody's really doing anything this summer. Um, I think I think everybody's just kind of decided to stay at home, which is, you know, a shame. But it is what it is. Okay. The other thing I thought, I kind of want some kind of numbers or something here. So I'm just going to stamp that with some of the crumb cake. And I'm hoping that that's gonna that's gonna look okay. Oh, you know what? Let me just go ahead and put this on to a block. Okay, so you can see it's very very subtle, but I don't want it too dark. The other thing I've done is I've cut a circle and run it through. I've got like a wood grain um, embossing folder. So I've run that through. Actually, this one's like trees. I forgot. Mm, yeah, I actually meant to have like the wood grain. Oh, well, just going to go with this. Because I've got a wood grain in there, I'm sure, but I grabbed this one by mistake, but that's okay. So, my thinking is, if I put some of the twine, and then I'm just going to have that there, and then I've got this butterfly to go here. Let me see if I've got mm, you know what? I've just had a change of plan. These are some of Victoria designs, and I think I'm actually going to go with that purple. I'm gonna get, let me get this cut out, guys, with my big shot, and then we'll play around with it and see. Okay, so here we are. I actually think I'm going to go with that. I was going to have this, but I, it's all just a little bit too bland. So I think I'm going to go with that because it's got this this journal uh, journal's got a lot of the purples in it. So I'm actually very 
very happy with that. So let me get that glued. It's getting very hot here today, guys. I've got my window closed because when I'm um, recording, I I try to close it because there's, you know, all the noise in the subdivision. So, um, yeah, it's getting very warm. <laughs> so I'm going to try to wrap this up as quick as I can. Okay, now another thing. I think I've still got them. Sorry, guys, I got to go into my metal drawer here and see what I've got. Yep, I do have them. Okay, I'm going to put two of these little eyelets. Do not ask me what size these are, guys, because these were sent to me in error. Um, so I could not tell you, but they are terrible eyelets. But I'm going to, um, and I'll tell you why. Because when you set those, the other side is super rough. And I would not be doing that, using it, except that the way this is going to be positioned, there's no chance it's going to cut anybody. They're just horrible. Horrible. I mean, honestly, they are so sharp on the other side. I'm hoping that this is going to work okay. Okay, let me get some different colored string. So I've got several shades here. The natural. I don't know, I kind of like the natural, I think. Now that one looks nice. That looks pretty nice there. Okay guys, I am going to run over the machine because I really feel like this needs some stitching. And then we will, um, oh yeah, I was going to put that on first, wasn't I? Okay, let me stitch around this and I will. Okay guys, I have run that through the machine because I just felt like it needed something. And now I want to get this placed before I um, glue that down. So I've just added some some of the um, linen thread. And I think I'll just put a little bit of dimensional, I'll put a little bit of dimensional tape behind it. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull this around and just 
I've got some tape here just to hold that until I can get that glued. Cut that a little bit long, but that's okay. I don't like to waste this um, linen thread because it's hard to get my hands on it. Let me just snip this and then <coughs> excuse me. There we go. Jeez. That didn't work as well as I thought it would. Probably should have just glued it. Okay. So now, got that down. And now I'm just going to get some glue. Okay, so there we are now, and I'm wondering about adding a saying. Let me get one, let me get another one here. So I've got that one or that one. I think the black. I like that. So I am happy to put that down and then that one is ready to go. just add, I'm going to go ahead and add another eyelet to this corner. like that and let me just get a little bit of torn muslin I've got some sorry silk here that's left over. Let me just get that in again.
Okay, let's end it up uh, journal card slash tag. But I like that, and it still leaves space to do some writing back here. I'm happy with how that came out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I appreciate so much that you've stopped by today to, um, to join me with this Create With Me. And as I said, um, the things I used here were my porch prints, her wildflower, and the Among the Wildflower kits, and then Victoria Design. These are the little circle butterflies. So I used that for that image there. So as you can see, you start off thinking it's going to be one way, and then as you go, it, it just changes. But I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope everybody is safe and uh, enjoying these last few weeks of summer. I'll be back soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye!